when did you when did this this uh, story come on your radar? I remember it being on the news um, about these teenagers robbing celebrities' houses. Mm -hmm. But sh wait, I should talk more. And I feel like That's more an MP NPR voice. I think. <laughs> <laughs> like, um, do you want me to do like a Garrison <laughs> Keillor kind of voice? Yeah. yeah. Um, Kitchen. So I I remember it was on the Hello, news. Hello, Sophia. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I remember it was on the news, and um, and I did, yeah, it seemed like a crazy story, but I didn't pay that much attention. And then I was on the plane looking at a Vanity Fair, and I read the article that Nancy Joe Sales wrote. And um, and when I read the ar the article and the quotes of the real kids, um, I got really interested in it. And I thought um, somebody has to be making a movie of this, mm -hmm. and um, I never thought that I would, but I I looked <laughs> into the rights and. Um, and the rights were available, and I met Nancy Jo Sales, and she had all these interesting stories, and, um, and I just kept thinking about it, and um, so I started to think about, um, I've, I've never done a, something based on a true crime story, and how I would approach that, and, and still in my style, or something that felt connected to me, and um, but really just reading her, her tra transcripts and, and all the quotes for the real kids um, just mm -hmm. fascinated me, and I thought it, it had, um, a lot of humor and mm -hmm. excitement, and um, and also I thought really said a lot about contemporary culture. Yeah, because it had, it must, I think in the material and then really in the film, it has this edge of kind of terror. Yeah, uh, it has a little bit of a horror, yeah. <laughs> sci-fi horror element to me. Yeah, mm. maybe you mm. could argue that yeah. uh, Marie Antoinette is kind of based on a true crime story. People pillaged to plunder the nation. Oh, yeah, right? I never thought See? of that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've heard uh, comparisons in just all the like amount of shoes and uh -huh. things like that, but I didn't think about the <laughs> prime aspect. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you have? Um, I'm wondering if it was a long process to decide how you were going to tell the story because you tell it in a very unusual way. I think where the, you know, there is a protagonist, but really our attention is shifted between all of these shifts between all of these different people. Um. Yeah, I tried to, um, I mean, when I first started working on the script, the biggest challenge was um, that all the, most of the characters were unsympathetic, so how do you um, want to watch a story where you don't care about the characters? And, and, and then the more I um, uh, researched it and read about them, I, I, f I, f I tried to put myself in their mindset of how, how they got involved in it. And, and then I connected to the main character of this boy who um, kind of got... Uh, taken in by this group of girls and wanted to be a part of the gang and belong and, and you know remembering that they're 16 years old and 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 so you could understand where they were coming where he was coming from mm -hmm. and um, and just that they're you know they're kids they're trying to find their identity and they're you know wanting to be part of some life that they think is glamorous and will make mm -hmm. them people.